Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is drawing in Word, Excel and PowerPoint with your Surface Pen. This video is specifically targeted to people who have Office 365 and have the latest version of Office installed on their computer. If you just have the regular version of Office 2016 or an older version of Office, you'll have some of these features, but they won't look the same. So in the latest versions of Office 365, we've got this new draw toolbar at the top of your ribbon menu. And in the draw toolbar, you'll see a selection of pens, pencils, and highlighters. And you can add new pens to that list. So you can customize this with your favorite color of pen, pencil, or highlighter. And you'll see if you click on the bottom of one of the pens there, there's a little drop down, and that'll give you some options like pen thickness and also pen color. If you have one of the latest Surface models, like the Surface Pro, the 2017 version, or the Surface Book 2, you'll be able to take advantage of the new pen functionality like tilt. So when I'm using a pencil, I can actually tilt the pen across to shade or keep it vertical to draw a solid line. And if you've also got one of the latest Surface Pens, you'll find that the pen interface is far more responsive. So if you're using a Word document, you can use these pens to sign a document, to make annotations, to highlight things, to work with your Word document as though it was a digital piece of paper. If we have some text in our Word document, we can turn on the Ink Editor option, and this will allow us to do some quick edits using our pen. For example, if I wanted to select a couple of words in this sentence, I would just circle them with the pen and you'll see that it becomes selected there. If I wanted to delete some words, I can just draw a horizontal line through them. That makes pen editing in Word a lot more fluid and easy. That is a specific feature for Word only though. Over here in Excel, you're going to find the same draw toolbar with the same pen options that you can customize. And you can use this to draw on your charts, to highlight cells, to make annotations on your Excel spreadsheets for sharing and discussing with others. In PowerPoint, we have one extra tool, which is the ruler. Click on the ruler and you can use two fingers with touch to move that ruler around, grab your pen and drag it across the top of the ruler to draw a straight line. You can also use pen and touch when you're delivering a PowerPoint presentation, but we'll cover that in a different video. Across all three programs, you'll see ink to shape. And if I toggle that on, you'll see that if I draw a freehand circle, it'll turn it into a nice perfect circle for me. Ink to shape will convert shapes like squares, triangles, diamonds, parallelograms, rhombuses, even anything up to a hexagon. Currently, it doesn't support anything greater than a hexagon. So if you try and draw an octagon, you'll probably find that it turns it into a circle. But we expect there to be some new shapes added to this over time. Also common to all three programs is the ink replay button. So if you did annotate your document and you wanted to go back and see in what order you annotated that document, you could click on Ink Replay and it will basically show you a video of the ink that you wrote on the page. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more Surface Pro tips.